So today for lunch, I had pizza and, you know, I, I ordered my pizza the way I, you know, normally order my pizza, of course, with my local LLM on my, uh, on my machine. This is Claude here, um, on my local machine. And I just asked Claude to order me a pepperoni pizza from Domino's and, you know, it was able to find the store and figure it out and got me some pepperoni pizza in my hands. Now, if this sounds crazy to you, if this sounds like an insane thing, consider that this is a look at how this is going to work in the future. More and more interactions online are going to compress and collapse into these agentic type of interactions. So what's going on here? How does this work? Well, it's all thanks to a little thing called MCP. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and Model Context Protocol was released by Anthropic back in November of 2024. Now, that wasn't a long ago, creating this video in the beginning of June 2025, but in AI terms, that is forever. So what Model Context Protocol does is Model Context Protocol provides a unique and fully universal protocol for AIs to use to be able to reach out and talk to the outside world. This means they can go get real-time information. They can go and use real-time tools, whatever they need to do. And MCP provides a, uh, a universal adapter to do that. So with MCP, this is how it's working in my pizza example. So I simply asked my AI agent on my local machine, hey, I wanna order some pizza from Domino's. That AI agent looks and says, do I have an MCP server for something called Domino's to order pizza? And it finds it. And that MCP server, which is local and running on my own machine, um, then understands how to interact with the Domino's pizza API that allows me to then programmatically order my pizza. And so with MCP, what happens is customers can easily access your value without touching your website. They don't, they can sidestep this. They can get straight to uh, what you are trying to do for them without having to go through all these layers of ugly, unusable websites and remembering logins and all of that kind of thing. Now, if this sounds a little bit like an API, it is kind of like an API. It's like an API built just for consumers and for the everyday person, not for programmers or machines to use. Um, but on the end of that API is a USB-C type converter that makes it work with any agent, any AI agent, any AI platform in the world. <clears throat> This being standardized um, because being adopted by everybody, OpenAI, Microsoft, MuleSoft, Zapier, Amazon, everybody is adopting and acknowledging the MCP standards, which means that there's a really good chance that this is going to be the standard moving forward. Now, why am I telling you all about this MCP stuff? Why does all of this actually really matter? Well, the reason is, is because what's going to happen in our future world is that Ultimately, the web is going to start to collapse in places into these agentic interfaces. The truth is, is consumers don't want to use your website. They don't want to download your app. They don't want to remember this stuff. They don't want to dig through your terrible navigation and your terrible idioms about how you talk about stuff. They just want to get stuff done. And AI agents and LLMs finally give us the ability to do that conversationally. And MCP is going to connect them to the tools and completely sidestep your website and your app. This is great news for anybody that has a website or app because it means that you can get a place in the LLM. You can be one of those tools. <clears throat> In our early example of the pizza, you see if my agent had gone out and looked for an MCP for Domino's Pizza and it didn't exist, well, it probably would have just found one for DoorDash or for Papa John's. It would have said, hey, look, I don't have a way to order you a pizza from Domino's, but would a pepperoni pizza from Papa John's be okay? And I'd say, you know what? That sounds just fine. And with that, it means that switching costs start to fall to zero. Because now, instead of saying, oh, we're well, our website's so great, we use loyalty points, we use all these great like use usability, and we make our website awesome so that people uh, love to come to it and love to use it, all of that doesn't matter, right? It's whoever provides the best service wins. So how do you prep for this world? How do you prep for a post-web world where this starts to collapse into this? Well, the first thing is to remember that, you know, 
all of this is about data. Data is the gold here. Data, the ability to interact with you um, programmatically is the real sweet spot that you want to be in. So to prep for that, you know, you can go and start to inventory and clean your data. Look at your data. How are you storing data right now? How are you able to mobilize it and make it usable by your users? Do you have an API that allows people to programmatically interact with their data or with your services? If you don't start to build those APIs, do what you need to do to do that securely, because that's also, of course, very, very important. And then wrap those APIs in some MCP tooling. This is really easy, readily available stuff. Um, and that will prepare you for this new world. And you can be part of that LLM experience. Because the truth is, is what we're learning, and SEO is already starting to see it, is that agents are stealing traffic from the traditional web. And without MCP in that new world, you will be invisible. So visit modelprotocolcontext.org to learn more about this protocol and also visit sourcehood.com if you need any help in implementing any of this in your company.